Moon Dream has released a no compromise model. Normally what happens is that when AI models try to do a lot of things at one time, but at the same time they try to minimize the size of the model, the quality gets compromised. That is where Moon Dream 3 Preview is trying to push the frontier of this field. It is the latest step in Moon Dream's mission to push visual language models into real world use while keeping them small and fast. In this video, we are going to install it locally and we are going to test it out on examples like these where you can query your images, you can detect objects in your images or you can even track objects in your images and few more things. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. And as you can see, we have been covering these Moon Dream models for quite some time and they are evolving steadily but for surely. So what exactly is this model? This model is built as a 9 billion parameter mixture of expert model but very cleverly activates only about 2 billion parameters per inference. That means it can hit frontier level visual reasoning, things like complex object detection, structured outputs and OCR without the heavy compute burden typical of massive dense models. If you look at these examples as I showed you, so for example if we say a runner with purple socks and it has detected them. These are the purple socks as you can see even naked i cannot see it that properly and as comparatively all the leading models including openai anthropics and googles they have really not that performed well look at this quantity input so this is a visual question answering and again moon dream has performed wonderfully well where it has detected the quantity input so you can just put it in point of sale too and there are various other examples for example we are asking it to point to the bottles and it has done it similarly check this one best written silver pasta this is example four and it has detected which one is the best utensil it has pointed to it whereas look at where openai is pointing or where gemini is pointing and where cloud opus is pointing so they have also introduced a new architecture which I think is quite cool which I will be um, giving you a short intro later down the road but for now let's get it installed. I am going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me create a virtual environment with Conda. If you are looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very affordable price you can find the link to mass compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. And now let's install all the prerequisites from the root of the repo. And while it gets installed let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce and you will find their link in video's description too. And everything is now installed on our local system. Next up, what I have done is I have taken the code from their Hugging Face model card and you can find the link in video's description too. And from that code, I have just put on a Gradio demo on top of it where we will be testing its various features after getting this model downloaded from Hugging Face. So let me run this script from here. And the first time when you run it, it downloads the model. There are only four shards. And while it downloads it, let's talk a bit more about the architecture of the model in simple words. So the new architecture which they have given is where the actual magic happens. Instead of a single dense network, Moon Dream 3 uses a fine-grained, sparse mixture of experts with 64 experts, dynamically routing tokens so that only eight experts fire for each input and this design gives it the accuracy of a big model with the speed and cost profile of a much much smaller one and they have also done a lot of training tweaks which they have shared in their blog or they have also shared it in um, this hugging face model card which you can check out 
readily and if you go through it there are a lot of things here and i'm very happy that they have shared everything in detail so that is you know that tweaks which i was talking about like load balancing and router they have also shared how it orthogonality losses it has also introduced something called as learnable attention temperature for long context and reinforcement learning that actually consumes more compute than pre training and this all help it specialize and stay stable even with the longer 32k context so the result is a model that's not just faster and cheaper to run but also more adaptable for tasks that need custom training or near real time visual inference and that is a big big deal in my opinion but of course the proof will be when we test it now as it has already been installed let me run the gradio demo and demo is launched as you can see there are four tasks this model supports object detection point detection caption and visual question answering let's quickly first do the object detection let me upload an image from my local system and this is an ai generated image i am going to ask it to detect i'm just going to remove this object from here and i am asking it to detect banana let's click on generate and the model is detecting while it detects let's check the vram consumption because it is fully loaded onto a gpu so just over 19 gig of vram is being consumed there you go it has detected the banana in full very very correctly it has also captioned it here how good is that okay that is nice now let's try out maybe another one i'm also going to give it a hard one i have again given it a very blurry image i am going to say detect or bag let's click here let's see there you go you see how quick that was it has detected the bag i think this is some sort of bag too but i'll say um jeans can it do the jeans there are a couple of jeans i can see yep this is a jean but it can't do this one i'm not sure if it's a jean or not okay finally maybe let's ask it to do humans or human maybe there you go it has detected all of them you see even the one at the far end that is very impressive let's do if it can point to something so this is a clock i'll say a point detection and maybe i'll just say um five here let's see there you go it has put the dot on the five good is that and how about if i say dot there are a lot of dots there you, you see on all the dots how impressive that is what if i say red because there is a red needle but instead of needle i just say red there you go it has put the dot on the red color this is really good stuff and now let's do the captioning i'm just going to select caption i'm going to upload an image i'm just going to maybe let's select an enemy one and uh, all ai generated i'll just click on generate and vram consumption is staying i believe there where it was so 19 19460 there you go so this is it says i made a picture of figurine of a young girl with long flowing silver gray hair so hair is right and if you read through it blue skirt and it has identified all um, the ingredients of the image plus also it can detect the pose that the pose is dynamic with her arm slightly bent and her head turned to one side that's very correct let's see if it can do ocr um maybe i can or let's first do the visual question answering and then we will check it out i think that must be a better one okay let me select another image okay so this is a bridal dress mainly from pakistan india and that part of the world so i am asking it what occasion is this dress for so this is a visual question answering or vqa let's wait for it and it has done bit of a reasoning 
Spirit has understood the problem that it shows a formal elegant dress with detailed embroidery. You see it can detect everything in the uh, finer details and it says the dress is likely intended for a wedding or other formal ceremony given its elegant design, intricate embroidery and luxurious fabric. How correct is that? Okay, let's try to do some OCR here. I have given it this image and I'm asking it to extract the text from the image. Let's see what it does. And look at the speed of the model and the quality. So it is really, I think so far, it hasn't missed the beat. So the quality is at the another level. There you go. So OCR, I love handwritten letters. And if I read through it, I think it has done a very wonderful job here. You see? And it has, you know, skipped those cross out words. Pretty good job. Let's do a bit of a hard one. The OCR, I mean. Next up, I have given it this image of an invoice and I'm asking it how much amount is due. It is at the end. And it says 800,000 which is let me show you we'll check it together so it is eight and four zeros right so let's go back it has made a mistake there you see so it has put in five zero okay so and it's also not due to die but anyway that is fine so that is one mistake we have found at last if we you know i just feel like a bit bad about model but i think it has tried its level best it's it was very hard let's see the arabic one i'll just ask it which language is shown in text and can you extract the text i know i'm pushing the boundaries but let's see and there you go it has at least um done the first one it, it couldn't do the top writing but i think it only did bit of it i'm not even sure it has done it well okay so let's remove this let's check it out one more maybe i will go with french this time let's run this it's all AI generated, it's not real at all. So it can't, it's, I don't think so this model is for OCR, but it can do a lot of other stuff around VQA caption because you see, you see it has detected English and German whereas uh, I think it is German, I guess. So or French, please confirm because this looks like German to me, but I, or I think this is German Deutschland. So language has been detected well, <clears throat> um, but I think due to surname, first name, it has detected English too, which is good. So mod I think model has done well, but it couldn't really extract the whole text. And you see, it has also told us in the uh, reasoning. That's good. Um, let me know what do you think. I'm very impressed by the model for the other facilities, maybe not for OCR. There are a lot of other good stuff happening in OCR. So even if it can do all of these point detection tracking i think we are good to go please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support